Hi guys. So Randy's still back under the bus. So um, let's go check in and see what he's doing today. See YouTube, he's still under the bus. What do you got going on today, baby? I'm trying to figure out how to get this over to the other side. Oh, our sewer drain, huh? Or great water drain. Yeah, well, I guess if you're gonna put your pee in there, then technically it's a black one. Yeah, so I think if I use these guys, I can hook up up there and just get my drop on. So Ooh, he's got to get a drop on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come okay. on, you're too serious, man. I think I'll get a couple of jack stands and put down here and hold this up oh, hold that. something where I want, and then I can start trying to piece it together. Yeah. So I'll put it together and dry fit it. Yeah, too bad you can't keep it up underneath the freshwater tank as much as you can so it's not crowding out into the underbase storage. Well, there's the reality of what has to physically happen. It has to come out of here. I guess I could come out of there and just angle it down. Uh huh. But now I run into a conflict with these guys. But technically, I could pick these guys up. And they could rest on top of it. It looks like another jigsaw puzzle that he's got to figure out. But I have faith in him. He's getting really good at doing that. Oh, how's it going, babe? I think this is going to go down easy. Oh, that would be awesome. So I already got this piece right in there. Uh-huh. All the way up there. Oh, sweet. You can go under the freshwater tank. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and then take it to the other side, yeah. And then over here, so I think all I gotta do is put this on and get that one in. And then it. cut a piece that length, and then a little piece, and then the gate valve. Man, got, everything's coming downhill. Uh huh. He's got the glue in his hand. That must mean it's going in, guys. Yeah, you gotta get these. Figure out exactly how, because this this glue, because it's so warm, it sets up fast, huh? Yeah, and you gotta lube it up on both sides of the joint, so. Okay, so I, I got this valve installed. And I just need to put a support in there to, so it can't shake up and down like that. Unfortunately, it's in the way of my struts for my support, so I'm gonna have to relocate them. But that's okay, that's not that big of a deal. So I just need to strap this up and stabilize it. And you should be able to just pop this baby off and open the gate, open the floodgates. Good to go. So what are you work, what are you doing? Well, this thing needs to be supported. So I made a little doohickey here for it, but I should have not put this bolt on up here yet. Oh, you put the bottom piece on. Perfect fit. Yeah, see? Yeah. It goes up there uh -huh. like that. I could, I could cut this extra stud off down here. You might hang something else on it, I don't know. In hindsight, I mean, this is awesome. <laughs> it's really strong. I think I'm good to go on that. Yeah. Um, but you can see by the way it's coming down, it, it's like, yay, victory, but a couple of things were in the way. Number one, this this was the hanger for the floor support, and it won't line up anymore. But I got a cross member back here, so it won't be too hard to drop another rod down here to give us that center support. So that's one thing that happened. Second thing that happened, until this was all up in there, I couldn't really calculate the drop. Anyways, I thought I was going to be able to come out up here, and I'm not. So it ain't going to work too good to bring the hose up and over that lip. 
but I haven't never liked the lip because it's going to be hard to get stuff up and over it. So I think what we can do is cut this rub rail off, put the floors in, put a put a piece of sheet metal over the corner so it's just a flat uh, piece of angle over that corner so it's just flat into the bottom. And then we'll put the rub rails back on the door so they line back up like they were there all the time. So when the door opens, the rub rail will come with it. There won't be no lip here. This thing will be able to come out and all our cargo will be able to slide back in. So that's a little bit more work, but I think in the end, you know. Could be a good thing, huh? Yeah, ready to go. Oh, for the, for the composting toilet? Yeah, the composting toilet thing will just go down into this flexible sleeve and we can just clamp onto it. And technically, if we end up somewhere where we have to use the jug and we can't, we decide for some reason we didn't want to pee in the gray tanks but we, so we could dump gray water, we could just uh, pull that spout, take this loose, pull the spout out, and I'll make a little cap that we can tuck back in here and close that up. That's a good idea. Double B. On the other side of the bus and our hip full came in today, so we've got that one mounted up, so everything is basically ready to go concerning our gray tanks. So, um, we should be able to start we some water in there. Yeah, we should be able to put water in, right? I think so. So, if it leaks anywhere, we got a problem. So, we're about ready to hook up our pump. So, Randy's got me up here in the bus, um, feeding some line down to him. So, remember this um, conduit that we did for pushing lines down below. That's what we're using it for. Oh, so here's where that line was coming down. And we don't, we don't have to travel very far because the pump is right back there. So oh guys, we are getting so close to being able to fill up our tank. It is like super exciting. Hey Randy, what'd you get us? A flow reducer. So we're ready, huh? That'll knock the pressure down to 45. This one knocks it down to 45 pounds. The pump puts off 55 pounds. So I think we should be able to pull it around to the back where the water faucet where the hose hooks up and, and fill our tank. I think so. This is a little hairy. It's like did I leave anything unconnected and it's going to blow off, but what, you know, what's the big deal? If it does, you just go back and connect it, so, but I am a little nervous about it. He's very nervous, guys. <laughs> hey, wish us luck and keep your fingers crossed that everything is hooked up and flows freely. Hey, listen to her. She's purring like a kitten. Ah, uh, you got to love that sound. Do we have You'll water? See. Ah! We have water! Randy has made water! Wow! Awesome, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, what's that? That's the hot water tank has to fill up, so it's going to take 10 gallons of air. Oh, it can't run through. Yeah. But it went down the drain, you guys. Yeah, the drain works. We did something right there. There's no water in the sink. What's it like underneath? It's dry. Everything looking good so <laughs> far. It looks dry. So let's try the back sink, the bathroom sink. Whoa, yes. And it's going down the drain. Wow, he's dirty, you too. He's already getting our white sink dirty. <laughs> so let's see, this will be a little bit more challenging to check. It's looking good, huh? Yeah. So far, so good. 
Okay, so the cold lines are full, and so are the hot lines up to here. The only one we haven't checked is the shower. So that will probably drip a little bit up there, but... <laughs> switch the valve to fill the tank. So we're looking to see if there's any drips on the ground, on top of the tank. So there is our overflow, and she just hit the top. And it looked like it took about 25 minutes to fill up 100 gallons that was bone dry. So this is super exciting. Okay guys, we're back in our spot. We've got the 12 volt hooked up. So, um, and the pump is now working for our water and everything seems to be working. Um, we do not yet have the hot water heater quite hooked up. No, it's not. It's the water's going through it. It's right. just not the gas. The gas the, line isn't hooked up. And the up switch to it. isn't to it yet. So we'll get that next. And the shower stall isn't quite finished. We just got to get it coughed. So in the next couple of days, hopefully the first of next week, we can start having showers. But hey, I am grateful I can start washing dishes out here. Give us the play by play. <laughs> you ran water in the sink. I ran water. I've got soap in my little pump dispenser. I know this is silly, but this is a huge thing for me to be washing dishes in our bus for the very first time. I know it's probably not how you're supposed to do it. But well, you gotta learn somehow. Gotta learn. That's why we're tethered to the to the shop. <laughs> you got your umbilical cord still. Yeah, and I'm still close to the shop, so if we the run out of water. The only 100 yards around the corner. That's right, we can go around and fill up, so. Okay, so that's a 12 quart dish pan. And you, you're you about done, right? Yeah, this is the last one other than the cutting board, but I can use the sponge for it, so. So yeah, so. What, maybe? Looks to me like you get about a, a gallon half. and a half. Yeah, this is doable, man. And I can light my counter off now. It's like, hallelujah. So, before we were using Windex and paper towels and whatever we could come up with. So, it's really exciting to not have to go in the shop and wash dishes anymore. Chris, you can have your break room back. <laughs> You better not give it back too soon. That's right. We still have stuff in there, huh? <laughs> you can find your all your all your pantry piled in here. Yeah, but we're close. I'm excited. It's probably the most excited I've ever been to wash dishes in a long time. How crazy is that? <laughs> How ridiculous is this? I'm filming you brushing your teeth. I know. Hey, it's the simple little things that we take for granted in life. I just brushed my teeth for the very first time in our bus at my new vanity. I love it. So um, with a fresh minty breath, I'm going to just end the video here and know that we love sharing the journey with you guys. And we will just catch you guys all in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.